You know, we all take a lot of pictures, maybe we're on vacation or special occasions or things like that, but what do you do with them when you get them? You pass your phone around so people can see them? Well, that's not a very good idea, but there is another way. Let me show you how we can do that right now. And that is putting your pictures in a picture book like this. Now, over the years, we have made several of these things by 10 book or 10 by 8 landscape style, which is the most common and actually one of the most affordable. You can have fronts like this and complete wraparound pictures. And this is a larger. This is 11 by 13 style, also a favorite. In the video you're about to see, I'm going to show you how to use uh, BookRite, which is a, a software program that's used by Blurb Publishing. And After downloading BookRite from the Blurb website, you'll see this screen. Open the file with the installer and then click on BookRite to open the application. Now, when you open up BookRite, you're going to find this. You're going to find the create button in your books. Now, your books means the books that I've already made. These are the kind of practice books I was doing. The next, wall art and book templates. Now, book templates are the templates you will use to make your book if you decide to use the template, and I suggest you do. What I'm trying to show in this video is the quickest, simplest way you can take a bunch of your photographs and make them into a book. Okay? So, here we go. So, Let's look at the create button. And here we're going to quick design is recommended. This is what we're going to do design our book. Of course, you can also do a magazine. This is different software here, okay? And it's more detailed and takes a lot more practice. So let's go with this one here. Click on it. Hit the next button. Bing. Okay. What kind of template do we want to use, okay? Uh, this is a blank canvas. This has no templates at all. You'll put what you want in it. Put where you want it. Modern family, everyday classic, celebrations, world travel, road trip. Also, modern romance, whatever that is. Minimalist portfolio, modern portfolio in summertime. Let's look at world travel. Here's the kind of book you want, whether you want standard landscape. This is the size, okay? 10 by 8. This would be horizontal format like this. Okay, over here would be large landscape like this. Uh, standard portrait. We like this. This would be uh, 8 by 10. And this is 13 by 8. 11 here. This is the biggest you can get. This will be like a coffee table book. And here we have a 12 by 12. This is a square book, large square, and a small square, which is 7 by 7. Over here you see the layout of what a typical landscape book would look like. And we take a look at this one. This would put four pictures on it, vivid it up like this. This one here would be like one page, two pages. This is an idea of what your layouts would look like. Your templates will be different, but this is similar to the idea it looked like. Now we'll go back and we'll pick the one we want. And let's go with, what did I say, world travel. This will be the small one right here, 10 by 8, 8 by 10, going down. That'll work good. So we'll build that one. It's downloading the templates now. Here we go. Now, we upload our project photos. Okay, now we're going to select our photos. This is from our computer here. We'll take these. And from other cloud services, we can take from Facebook or Dropbox or some of these other things here. We're going to take ours from our computer. Select our photo. Now, and I'm going to pick all of these photos here, starting here. And all the way down to here okay and I'm gonna open these and it's gonna load them into here this is where we're gonna spend most of our time right here here are our photos coming in uh, let's take a look at this while the photos are downloading 
Over here, this will be our pages template. Our template will show up here. This will be our cover right here. And these will be our pages where we spend most of our time. These are additional templates here. See, this is uh, illuminated right here, which means this indicates our photos are being used. This is for text over here. We're going to put some text in there. Okay. It's continuing to load. I don't know how many I put in here. But this particular book, standard book, is 20 pages. You can add pages by hitting this button over here. And you, of course, can subtract pages by there. But the book's going to be 20 pages long. We have these tools here with photos, text, and movement around, spacing. These books up here, information. This is preview. You click this button here and you'll see exactly what your page is used. Page will look like without anything else. This is when you finish, you upload this to Blurb. It goes into their server and they print the book out and send it to you. But we're still loading pictures here. And you see it goes in here, and we're almost finished. So here we are. Now, the fastest way to make a book with this software is like this. See, we create a book by placing photos by the date taken. In other words, it'll take all your photos and arrange them chronologically the way you took them by the date. And then you choose down here. If you want blurb, to insert those photos for you. The software do all the work for you. Click right here. Otherwise, you click right here and you'll place them yourself. Well, let's do this the quickest way possible because that's my idea behind this video to show the simplest, fastest way to take photographs from your phone or your computer and make a hardcover book out of them. So let's click here and watch the magic happen. Auto-creating the book. If you look over here, you can see them See it going in. If indeed you start to do this and you don't have enough pictures to fill up a 20 page book, you'll have to get some more pictures and you'll have to place them in there yourself. Okay, it's finished. See the little squirrelies over here? It's loading your, loading that up. You'll notice all the pictures that have been used up here like this. They have the little check mark, the little tick mark on. Okay, this is what I. This is this is the page. Let's see. This was a picture they used for their uh, first page. Okay, I frankly don't like that, but for the purpose of explanation we just have a picture in there okay it tells me down here it tells me down here what uh, image it is in image 3622 it's a jpeg this little thing up here means warning it means something is wrong so and then we click here and find out what it says low image resolution what this means is this picture that we have here is not good enough resolution uh, for this picture. In other words, we need a better picture. So let's start by getting rid of this one. How do we get rid of it? We just drag it down to a little trash can there. Click that trash can. Now I got rid of it. This looks like it would make a better picture. So let's put this one in here. Drag it in there like that. Yep. No problem. No little triangle. Everything looks good. Now, let's go through and look at all of our pages. Could be we'd want to change where the oil the order of some of them or do something different okay so bear in mind we open our book up this page over here would be blank this is the fly leaf in it and this will be the first thing you see okay so now if we want to see what all of these look like we can do it a number of ways okay we can go down here let's look at our pages this way here's our pages here this is our page laid out so let's look at them like this You get the idea. This is a double page here. Okay, now what we may want to do on this one is adjust it a little bit. See, all of that, probably put that on there like that. Okay? 
so we can see more of that. So we can do these things. Now we got a little, we'll have a lot of these little warning things here. Image spans across the page. So what, what that warning is for, right here, this particular area right here is the valley between the sheets, and we're probably not going to see that very well. Okay, I, for purposes of explanation, I'm going to leave this picture in here because we just want to show you how everything's going to look. So, go down. Here's another one and another one, another one. This is our last picture here in our book. Okay, but let's go back up here, and I want to show you something here. All right, see this box here with the TTs? What that means is text. That's where you can put maybe some descriptive stuff in it. So let's click on it. Okay, let's type a little bit in here. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to say descriptive copy. Descriptive copy, just like that. Okay, now if I want to, you see, I can make this bold like so. See? Got bold copy. L or what, and, and this is what this says. Okay, so that's what we're going to do that. Now, let me should go down here, and I believe we have another one of these somewhere. Let's see where it is. Um, right here. Here's another one. Now, there's another way to do this. What Another way we can do this, uh, you notice up here it says text files. Well, we can go and grab some text off our computer uh, and put it in there. Now, I'll show you how we do that. It has to be RTF uh, files, so RTF uh, for it to work. So let's go click here. And we go down here to do this. We click here. And we click here to do this. Writing, we get some right here. Post. Okay, so it looks like we've got this one here. Open that one. And that's going to come right here. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to drag it down and put it in here. See there? Okay, now it says text flow at the bottom. What that means, if let's say we had more words than would fit in here, if we clicked and dropped in here, the balance of what was left over would go into the next text box over here. So this is where we are now. I think there's another one down there somewhere. So that's what that looks like. That's how you can grab text and put in there. Ah, here it is. Preview. If you want to know what everything looks like, your whole book looks like, it looks like this. Now, let's go, we'll go through the whole book here, starting out with the cover. This is a wraparound cover that was just generic. We can change that to what we want it. But let's go here to first page, and we're going to go through the pages here. So that's where we put that description. This is exactly how your book will look, okay? This is a good preview for you to know how your book's going to look. Okay, what I want to do is I want to change this picture out here. I want to change it for this one. Now, what, it, what I've done is I noticed that I had too many pages. So I've taken some of the pages out just by, and I'll show you in a minute how we do that. But I want to change this first. This is my first picture here. So I've got this in here, and I want to change it for this one. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to bring this one in here. Let's go soft cover right here. And we'll go to standard paper. That should take care of this problem for us. Uh, now I'm going to make our cover. I'm got a photograph I pulled down for the cover. Uh, you'll notice over in the left hand column with the templates that we have a different template. This uh, cover is only going to be on the front of the book as opposed to wrapping around as the previous cover was. I have to move the frame over to the side to ensure that the picture will be where I want it to be. Now if you look in the left hand column where the templates are you'll see that this is complete.
Now, now, this completes our book. You may want to go through and look at it one more time, but what you need to do is click the Upload button in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, and this will take you to the page where the information is needed for Blurb to print your book. Uh, that'll include the author's title and the ISBN number if you want it, and various other details, including the method of payment. This is the quickest way I know to put photographs in book form. I hope you give it a chance, and with a little bit of practice, you'll become quite proficient. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video with your friends. A thumbs up helps my channel grow too. Other videos are available as you can check out my playlist as well as what's coming up next. Thank you.